The newly opened parts of Baldwin Expressway have not been operational for 48 hours yet, but folks are already raising concerns about the 35 mile per hour speed limit currently posted along eight miles of the road. Local 15's Christina Zverjako took those concerns to highway officials and found out wind change is on the way. It's supposed to be the latest and the greatest way of getting through southern Baldwin County. But some say it's also one of the slowest. Every half mile there are signs 35 miles per hour and that's kind of slow to try to get anywhere. Edward Sturma has been looking forward to using this road for months and was confused why the expressway wasn't so express. There are no neighborhoods, there are no side roads or intersections to speak of. Actually, every side road you turn on are two lane roads that you can go 55 on. But on this beautiful four lane, you have to go 35. And although driving at such reduced speeds might be frustrating, we're told that it's in the name of safety and not permanent. Want anybody to get hurt. Baldwin County Engineer Cal Marker says that the Highway Department has received plenty of calls about the 35 miles per hour speed limit and told those people the same explanation. They have some crews still out there, so in their contract it's required to keep it that slow. The state and the contractor agreed to go ahead and open it up get people accustomed to it, but we had to keep the speed limit that slow to, to keep them safe. So in about two weeks, when crews officially are expected to end all the finishing touches on the expressway, that speed limit will go up and will stay up. It'll be 55 all the way. In Baldwin County, Christina Zverjako, Local 15 News.